The number of pubs in England and Wales has fallen to the lowest on record. After struggling through the pandemic, many have now closed their doors due to soaring energy costs, inflation and not enough staff. Over 7,000 pubs have disappeared in the last decade. Well, let's talk now to Simon Wright, who is a food writer and broadcaster. Uh, good to have you back on the show, Simon. So we all know that hospitality had a difficult time in the pandemic, but how bad was it for pubs in particular? Oh, look, I mean, it was it was really terrible, but, you know, things were heading in the wrong direction before the pandemic came as well. So this was, uh, you know, it's been a long-term trend, and um, the difficulties of the pandemic made it that much worse. And I think coming out the other side of that, We've been hit by, obviously, higher inflation, energy costs. So uh, it's not so much a perfect storm as, um, you know, the, the, the worst possible storm one could imagine for, for pubs. So if it, say things were heading in the wrong direction before the pandemic, uh, what was behind the problems that pubs were experiencing then? Well, there's the long-term challenges, really, which is, you know, um, the fact that alcohol is very cheap in supermarkets. People are choosing to drink at home. They have a lot of home entertainment available to them. And so the traditional reasons that people went out to the pub have changed. Um, and, you know, over a period of time, pubs have been able to really unable to compete on price as well. So, you know, th this wasn't new. But as I say, I think things have reached, a, 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 you know, a worse now than they've ever been, really. So a very difficult climate at the moment, as you say. What do pubs need now to make sure they survive? Well, I think, we, first of all, we need to say why they're important. And, you know, that, that they, they are pubs tie communities together. Um, and, they, you know, they're, they're especially in rural symptomatic of the loss of neighborhood facilities, whether that's shops, post offices, you know, pubs and schools as well. So the loss of pubs means a loss of communication, a loss of informal social care, a loss of economic activity. So it's really, really important that we try and, and, and reverse this trend. And what they really need is that they need an economic environment in which they can prosper. Um, and that means, you know, lower taxation. Uh, that means that they should, in my view, have some advantages in terms of their trading of alcohol, taxation terms, um, lower business rates. And we need training as well in hospitality because there's a massive shortage of workers out there at the moment. If you look, though, at a traditional, a tradi traditional high street, a traditional community, uh, things now look very different than they used to, don't they? You, you know, you think of fishmongers being closed, ironmongers, for example, pubs alongside that. Does it matter? Yeah, I think it does matter. It matters for a number of reasons. One is that, you know, communities need to retain some sovereignty and, you know, independent businesses are, you know, outside of the... The, the, the global economic picture. And I think it's very, very important that, that, you know, because they're rooted in their communities. So, yeah, I think it, ma it matters hugely. And uh, nothing matters to me actually more than the village pub, because again, I think it's the real heart of the community. And then when you start to lose those things, you lose the community as well. Simon Wright, good to talk to you. Thanks for joining us on the programme.